For today's review, we are featuring Itasca's Carbine waterproof boots that I purchased from Canadian Tire. So I did a review on Itasca's water resistant boot a couple of weeks ago. If you want to watch it, you can check our videos. It's a pretty recent video. And that was the failure of the week in December. I bought a water resistant boot that I used in fall and winter and they were a massive failure. Literally the first time I used them, I got soaking wet. So I thought I better try their waterproof boots just so I can give them a, a proper review because maybe I bought the wrong boots for what I'm doing. So I bought these boots that they claim are 100% waterproof. They are $133 on Amazon. They are $89.99 from Canadian Tire. This is a size 12. Well, are they waterproof? No, they're not. We have another failure of the week. <laughs> What's going on there, Itasca? They are a light boot. That is why I purchased them. I do not want to wander around with really heavy boots for what I'm doing. So I thought a light waterproof boot is really all I'm looking for. Looking at the rubber sole, they have great traction. I was thinking, well, it's got to be sealed really well. It is not. Three weeks in and these boots get completely soaked up to here. And I actually wear, I do wear my pants over my boots. So they never have had snow in them. Number one not waterproof. Number two, all their little lace buckles there when you do your laces up in the morning, well, these little tabs bend outwards towards you, towards the camera, when you tighten them up. And at the end of my day, I undo my boots and realize they're all bent out and I gotta bend them back in. Well, if I do that a few more times, obviously this is a cheap metal they used, a few more times and that tab's just gonna break off. Then I'm not gonna be very happy. So that's number two, failure number two on these boots. What else we got? We have their awesome laces and it's not just Itasca. Every set of boots I bought from Canadian Tire does that three weeks in and then it does not fit through that hole, which means that I have to leave my laces in the hole and still fight with my boots to get them laced up instead of just popping them out the hole, do my boots up the way I like and then run them back through the holes. So that's failure number three. We already have threads letting go, untying. Failure number four on those. And I can tell they're um, because of the way they're bunching up here everywhere. I'm a size 12. I'm six feet, about 200 pounds. And I have very narrow feet. So they're bunching up because my feet are so narrow. These are clearly made for someone with really wide feet. So I'm pretty sure next step will be they start letting it go on this seam here, somewhere along here. And that's another reason I'll be getting wet. So that is it for Itasca. We are not wasting our time on any of uh, those boots anymore. Water resistant ones weren't waterproof uh, at all. Waterproof boots aren't waterproof at all. Failure. And I want you guys to know, that's why we're doing real world reviews.